Hello gamers and Mortuary and welcome back to another episode of Conan Exiles on the modded Conan Devolved PvP server and well you might have noticed that last time I was trying to get ready for war and yeah I had a little accident with the tree there and uh, Kojak's base being a little bit too close to the tree and the tree not uh, wanting to uh, move for uh, the, the boulder but today today we are planning something completely different. Uh, Skripter and me We'll be heading to a new spot, a spot Skripter uh, kind of found, and uh, we might be trying to build a second uh, outpost out there. So, yeah, that's the goal for today. Move some stuff and see what we can do in the new spot. So let's jump straight in. Hey. Hello. Look who, who <laughs> we have found on the way to the new outpost location. Yeah, I'm It's gonna, a wild jester. Yeah, I'm going to do like a quick thing just to prevent myself from losing stuff during sure, while. Sure, sure, sure. I don't think so. <laughs> well, you, you have... This place because it's close to the to that other NPC camp. Uh, mm -hmm, the Desert Wolf camp or Desert Dog North camp, and sorry. And the, yep. the named city as well for dragon bloods. You, you already went to fetch all the all the emotes up there on the... near the camp? Plenty no, of... I need to I need to check um, a map with the emotes. Yeah, there are there are quite I a few just up here. Got so, so I think we're pretty close to the new spot, right? Yes, we are. I'm just trying to figure out it's over there, right? Yeah, it is. It is over there. It's a nice spot from the outside. It's Those not really places. all that uh, visible. Oh No, you need to know where it is. Uh, we should have brought... Uh, let me pick up a stone. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I no, no. Pick up all the stones no, the no. World. We need one st one stone. We need to make a fog catcher so we can start to produce water in there, all so right. we don't we don't have to run to the oasis all the time. So yeah, the new place is uh -huh. up there. Well, up there, but below the up there, it's under the up there. It's I'm under to record that. Uh, under there. That's what we just said in stream, but you know, I'm I'm not that fast on pressing record, so I'm gonna say it again. Here we are. <laughs> yeah, here oh, we are. Hi. <laughs> the place is occupied. <laughs> uh I think we have a problem. So if I, I go we run past. If I go oh no no he already if I go tickle him and I run fast, would that work? Oh let's just run past. You think? Uh, he yeah, he smells sure. you. He smells you. He's coming for you. Oh, let him let him. Ah, he's coming for you. Let him. Ah, oh, he's inside the area. You got in? Yeah, I'm, 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 well, I'm on top. Yeah, there is no way for me to get in now because he's really inside the wall thing. And of course, darkness is falling. Sure. And as all good YouTubers do, I forgot my torch. I'm going to try to sneak inside. Oh, oh, oh. He still smells you. Uh, I think he's yeah. smelling me. Ah. No, run, he's running. Run, yeah, run, yeah. run, run. I'm running. Look, he's coming. Yeah. I'm in. Ah, we, need to, uh, we need to go up here. Come on, jump. jump. Here. Yeah, this spot. And this, we're there. This is the spot. So I already... Came here a few days ago, placed a few foundation just to be sure to close up the entrance. Mm -hmm. But there is actually, if you look inside, oh, I can't. I need to pick up the foundations, I think. Yes, please. Yeah. But you could have picked them up too. So the thing goes down mm -hmm. in that direction. And there is actually quite a bit of space down there. But I have no idea how to get down there. So I didn't... I didn't even try to go down, but there is a nice spot down there. Yeah, well, now we should have some stairs, right? Stairs. I have four. Five. Yeah. Well, I guess we can remodel this later. For the moment, we just need to get down there. Um, I'm yeah, not but quite sure, but I think this turns around the corner. Let's, let's yeah, it does. It I, I think it does. But the, the problem isn't getting down there. The problem is being able to get back up yeah that's why i said bring stairs <laughs> yeah there, there were only I'm, five I'm, in the box let, let's wait for sure i think i made 10 well let's wait for day 
Uh, mm -hmm. Shouldn't take too long, and then let's let's probably play some foundations and see where we have to go. Yep, let's um, wait for daylight. Let's go right. tickle the dragon. Good idea. Uh, maybe not in darkness, no. See, you're a pro. Nah, I'm a pro. So, look Keep what we have it. already done. We placed some foundations. Well, some were already here. We placed a few more. We placed some stairs because the thing is actually going down. And then it goes into a little tunnel. You have to get through the tunnel. Make sure we eat and drink from time to time. And under here... Do something like that. It starts. So this is where the area starts. Look. Look at the space we have. It goes up. It goes down. I think somewhere up here it still goes down. No, not this side. Probably this side. Yeah, it's still going down a little bit. So we have all this room available to build. Be exposed to all the archers around here. And the sleazy mortuary. <laughs> There's an area down here even, so you can expand, you can, you could have like thrall processing down there or whatever. We could even try to connect that up and make it a corridor that goes over here and make this the pit of death. Yeah, sounds good to know. me. Pit of death. I mean, when they come out here and you have like foundation right here somewhere, let's say, since we have them, since we can pick them up. <gasps> Oh Jesus! Don't 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 do it. We don't have that many stairs. It's dangerous because it even goes further down here. Yeah, it does. So look, if this is our bottom floor here, like you come out here and you stand on these and have sandstone walls around this, there's indestructible terrain all around you. Mm. And then basically the only thing you have is like let's let's put sandstone ceilings or something here, something that breaks instantly when the wall breaks down as well. People come in, they are basically here. If you have tier 3 all around, two stone foundations high, or three maybe, and then archers all around this thing, <laughs> you're it, dead. No, no, There's look, no way you can get out. It's funny. My foundation is sticking to you. If you move, it follows yeah. you. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's sticking to oh. you. Yeah. Well, I have a sticky character. <laughs> Uh, also, with with these irregular uh, walls that this this thing is giving us, you can place archers pretty much everywhere along these walls. So you might be able to just stick an archer up there, just into the wall, pretty much. I've seen <sighs> that before, so it would be nice. Yes, it is a nice spot. Yeah, this, this is quite big. You know, there, there are some areas where we have to make sure that nothing bad happens to us. Mm -hmm. Well, to there us... There are a few of those. <laughs> yeah, I, w I wonder how deep this goes, because... I don't want to fall in, but I want to know how deep it is. Yeah. Well, it would be well, interesting if that makes you fall through the world, and then you can just emerge wherever you like. <laughs> Emergency exit style. But, you know, that's a glitch that's going to get fixed anyway, if it is... I think if you go down like here... Area. Yeah, but if I go down there, I can't go back up. Uh, so better not do that. But yeah, if we if we indeed, if we make this, like this area where I have placed the foundations or a base ground area, then we still have room to move up as well. We can go to... Oh, I mean, you, you have to so that much area. Up here. Uh, we have plenty of room. This is and almost... right up here where I'm standing, right, right above me there. Mm -hmm. That's between the the pillars from the outside. So if if you actually look at that, you can build a walkway through there and drop outside. Yeah, that's the win little window we have seen from the outside, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you could make a balcony there, or just an emergency exit or something. You can't get in from the outside unless you place stairs there. Uh, nobody else can build there because we've already built there. So yeah, that's whenever we need to get out, that would be a thing. You can build a ring here, like a loft thing. That would be cool, yeah. There's, there's lots of room. I mean, this is definitely four or five stories high that we can easily build. Yeah, definitely. And, and, and all of this in the in the front here is our, our killing field. So we make a nice, you know, kind of semi-circular thing. And when people try to break in through that corridor there, they, they drop in here, they can't get out, and we just kill them. I drop love it already. Throw grenades or whatever. 
We build a big wall here, just, you know, walling the whole section off so they don't even see how big this place is because, you know, it's a big wall. Oh, crack, I'm stuck. Oh, yeah, I, I lost sight of you. You must be somewhere where you shouldn't be. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, I'm stuck. <laughs> I did it. I broke the game. Nice. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I can fix this. Look. <laughs> you just lie down. And you move forward. Ah, fuck, that doesn't work. I'm stuck in here forever. I'm just gonna stand here and watch you for the rest of the episode. Yeah, that's good. That will help me a lot. <laughs> well, it's not like you can do anything. Oh, crap. Yeah. I will have to die. And we didn't bring a bed. Well, even if you had a bed, I, I can't reach it anyway. That uh, is true. Okay, well. I guess I, I should stop recording this. <laughs> I told you, I will, pre I will press record. <laughs> I will press record and, and something bad will happen. So I did. Yep. You, <laughs> you did say that. Uh, so nothing I can do? Well, maybe I can... No, it doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> Why am okay. I able to do that? <laughs> Yeah, build a staircase there. That's perfect. Yeah, it works. There. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh. <laughs> I fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> and I stopped recording. <laughs> I got it all. I got it all. Oh, look at that. The master himself fixed it. Oh. Yeah. No. There was some luck involved. Okay, then um, I'm going to be dropping some stuff in here for you to build and I'm going to head back to the community base, pick up some more stuff and... Uh, bring, bring a bed or two. Yeah, a bed or two. Yes, definitely a bed or two. Yeah. The substance under the number 7 and the number 8 button. The substance under the number 7 and number 8 button is... 7 is for me always water, 8 is my food... And this is all part of the homebrew mod, and it's actually water and honey. So water fills your thirst bar, honey fill you, fills your hunger and a little bit of your thirst bar. And the good thing is... Oh, we need to pay attention up here too. The good thing is, they don't really spoil. So yeah, uh, you can have them on you all the time without too much problems, and they don't weigh a lot. Look, 400... Water drops weigh about 2.3. 300 honey yeah, they, they, weighs... They don't weigh anything. It's yeah. 300 honey weighs 15. So it's nothing. Yeah, the water comes from the fog catcher. Ah, oh, that dragon is still there. And the honey comes from the beehive, which you can fill with bees. And bees you get from collecting herbs, collecting fiber. I survived the dragon. <gasps> But almost fell down the cliff. <laughs> <coughs> Welcome to more Cherry's World, yeah. everybody. <laughs> Typically me. So yeah, let yeah. me go back to the community center, pick up some more stuff, and uh, I'll, I will bring that back to you. Sapul in the chat says, to be more exact, Mortuaris Camel Association. I wonder what I, mm -hmm. what I have done to get that name. I didn't, I didn't, what I didn't do anything. You done to get that name? There aren't any camels in the game, <laughs> so. I where did that come from all, all of a sudden? It sounds good, uh, though. Mertuaris Camel Association. Yeah. It's okay. The okay, MCA. The it's almost the YMCA. <laughs> the, the Young Mortuaries Camel Association. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this would be funny. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm, tr I'm trying to get back to the outpost with uh, with foundations and ceilings, just in case you're wondering what I'm doing all the time. Foundations and ceilings, that's good. Oh yeah, yeah, because I said I, I, I said I was running up and down the thing, so I'm the courier for today, and that's why they made it Mortuaries Camel Association. Yeah, that would be great, actually. Have a caravan of camels following me instead of me having to run up and down 25 times. Mm, sounds like a good plan. I like it. 
Well, I can bring you some wood now. If I did bring my pickaxe, yes. Then I should have room to bring you at least some wood. I'm almost there, so. That's good. <laughs> Too much. Yeah, some should do. Whatever some is, but I guess 50 well, would suffice. I have 160 on me. Yeah, that's good. Well, that that ceiling won't be there whenever something or somebody tries to break in here, so that's probably... I made it. Yeah, you, you did. I made it. Where'd you go? I'm inside already. Oh, so there I is... didn't even see you get past me. I the, was in the middle I of... I put the everything in the box again, so I'm running back. Awesome. Bye. Two. What type of workstation do we need first? Um, yeah, I have an armor and I have the the woodworker thing. The trawl, or or the, you mean the workbench actually? The workbench. So you have an armor and a cow, a carpenter, which means we need a big furnace, a big yeah, all the, well, big furnace. I can't make so. I'm still like level 47 or something. Oh yeah, but I can make that. Yes, you can. So that that will be stuff for you. The great furnace and the great fireball cauldron. It seems I do need to get down there. Want to get? Is it true that trolls are finally mobile again? I really hope so because it was getting. Really annoying. I don't mind one troll bugging out, but if you could just walk up to four trolls and, and take, a, <laughs> take a group shot with a bear hug, that, yeah. that, that was insane. Come on. Oh, you, you brought a friend? There. Yeah. That's a thousand five hundred high to bring back home. That's nice, nice. Oh, oh, oh crap! Rhino and I'm out of stamina. Of course, of course. Sure you are. Why not? Why would I even have stamina? Oh crap! Exactly. That's thick hide. We need stamina. I'm gonna drop it. Drop all the thick hide. I don't need thick hide. I want light, small. Fragile hide. 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 Dum, 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 dum. The big furnace. Yes, the big furnace. The greater furnace. It's not the great, the big furnace, but the greater furnace. It's part of one of the mods we have on the server, and it's uh, a little bit bigger than the than the normal furnace. Yes, it's mod stuff, and uh, it produces. Uh, materials a little bit faster and you also get a little bit more materials uh, than the normal furnace while still using the same resources. I don't know what the ratio is, I should look it up, but if for example you can get uh, uh, 100 stone, 100 brick out of 100 stone then with a great furnace you might probably ha get something like 120 bricks. You get a little bit more and you get them a little bit faster. It's also a little bit more expensive to build and you need to be level okay. 50, 50 to build it. So let's check. We have two armorers benches, a large campfire, a carpenter's bench and another like three chests or so. I'm going to check if we have some uh, some stuff to uh, to put up there. I'm gonna check. I'm almost back at the base, so let me head up there and I will let you know what we have. Well, look, I made some crafting stations and yeah, I'm gonna bring those to the, the new location so Scripter can put them up and we can start uh, producing some stuff in there as well. Not only producing some stuff, but maybe also get some production going because that's not the same thing. <laughs> It is, but I need to fill my, my videos with with speech stuff anyway. Okay, the door. Okay. 
Okay, you get in here. And then you fall down. But if they are two or three people, they will be able to jump over this thing. Where? Here. Oh. But I think this side isn't ready yet. Correct. Ah. So I said, I'm, I'm going to make it three high all the way around. Mm -hmm. And probably even a double layer. So here we are back at base. <sighs> it's been a lot of running around today. I've been uh, doing the, well, how did they call it? The Mortuary, Mortuary's camel, camel Delivery Service. Running up and down from the old, well, the old the community center base, the main base, to the area where we have the new outpost, bringing stuff to Scriptar, delivering uh, goods and materials while he is trying to set it up as he wants it. Yeah, probably not all that exciting for today, but still, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up button. And if you have comments or suggestions, feel free to post those in the comment section below the video. While you are there, feel free to check out the description. That's where you find links to the social media pages, links to the Patreon page, where you can uh, become a patron and join us on our Ark and Conan server. But you can also find links to the other people playing on the server in there, to their YouTube channels, their Twitch, their whatever. You'll find all that in the description. Again, if you have comments or suggestions and ideas, is, you can post those below below uh, the video in the comment section and feel free to also subscribe to the channel not only do you help me reach my next subscriber goal but you will also get notified when i post new content to the channel that being said i will be wrapping up today's episode so until next time have fun and stay safe bye <laughs>